it going guys, Mick here from Hop Cartel, back with another beer review. Today I'm going to review the Wherever I Rove IPA from White Bay Brewing Company. Brought together by beer. 6% ABV, 440 mil can. These guys hail out of Roselle, Sydney. Pure pleasure, White Bay Beer Co. Wherever I Rove IPA, a free roving IPA break brewed with bushels of oats and American hops. 2.1 standard drinks. 6% ABV once again. Crack this one open. Looking forward to trying this one out and reviewing it. Um, pretty Looks pretty new on the scene, uh, these guys. Um, White Bay Brewing Company. Um, I asked a few people whether I was just about to smell it out of the can, which I'm not doing anymore. Just pouring it up and smelling it from the glass. I asked a few um, fellow craft lovers um, and associates whether they've had any of the beers from um, from White Bay yet, and none of them had up until recently. So it was after I asked the question, uh, someone actually had a White Bay beer. Is from one of, one of my favourite shops, one of my favourites, not my main go-to, but one of the the main favourites I go to. Um, and also, I think they're just starting to be stocked at places like Dan Murphy's and um, you know other places like that. Slightly hazy, nice head, close to two fingers there. The aroma coming off it is actually quite nice. Um, sort of comes across very pungent. Bushels of oats and American hops. That smells really fruity. Pine, citrus, pineapple, mango, slight peach. I get the oats, I get the grain, I'm getting the, the malt as well. It's, it's just starting to smell like a pretty, um, pretty promising beer, pretty um, balanced on the aroma. Head starting to drop away. Holding in the colours great, like it's not showing up real well on camera at the moment. It's starting to get a little bit dark here in the old brewery. Um, but man, smelling pretty good. 440ml can. Um, was up there in price, so I am expecting big things for the price. Um, but then again, you do sort of get beers that are highly priced due to the fact that they're starting out. So it, it, just like myself with a new business uh, starting out, um, need to recoup costs as quick as possible. Uh, but you need to put that product out there. You make sure it's the right product um, and high quality product um, to justify the price. But it's smelling pretty good, so here goes. Oh, it's very creamy, it's very fruity, nice malt balance. I have to be honest and say that, um, you know, considering I almost put it back down again, I'm glad I, I kept it in my hand and, and, and went through with the purchase because it's, um, Pretty easy drinking, and the lack of information on the can, um, which made it a little bit harder to pick up and, and to purchase. Uh, it's an interesting looking can at, at that, and I think it's um, visually appealing, but we don't, like many things they say, don't judge a book by its cover, don't judge a beer by its label. But I actually did with this one. They've 
obviously put a little bit of money into making sure that label appeals to to the to the public, to to the consumer. But these beers were exactly right there in front of me uh, when it, at the bottle shop either. So that's a downside to the way it's been displayed at that particular bottle shop. So I'm feeling that this beer may just well end up in uh, discount or bargain bin um, being discounted because it's it was positioned behind sort of behind the door handles or close to it so and in a fridge that not a lot of people normally go to either um, and the main fridge has been the majority of what sits on the back wall of the particular shop has all your, your pretty well known go to sort of beers um, new releases coming through this just isn't positioned well enough unfortunately um, it's just that I spotted something else uh, that caught my eye and this was actually sitting next to it and that's sort of where it drew me to actually pick the beer up so I feel maybe my feedback to the shop would be to get this beer um, in front of the consumer in front of where it needs to it needs to be in that fridge that everyone get the fridges that everyone goes to so I might actually give that that um, that feedback to the actual shop too all in all a very nice IPA they've done well with this they've, they've done really well I wasn't you know I thought it might just be another one of those breweries that doesn't um, it doesn't last but they're showing a lot of promise so I'm not sure how long they've been around for to be honest I had a quick look at the website um, just to find out where they are and you know sort of their background and didn't really look into much more you know, about this particular brewery uh, once again like share subscribe check out all the, um, the social platforms in the description below show the love show the support um, and um, you're watching a channel that is talking about the beer itself and no gimmicks in, in and around um, I don't need props I don't need bullshit this is just about the beer cheers